All right, we are back with some more Dave Allen, and this one right here is called Airplanes. Now, uh, make sure y'all hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. I feel like this man is just hilarious. I remember when I first reacted to him, I think it was on religion. He was like, they were trying to race to uh, get the caskets down the road. It was just hilarious, man. Hilarious. So this is another one that was highly requested by y'all saying, hey, dog, check out Airplanes by Dave Allen as well. So that's what we're going to do. Like I said, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. When I fly, I don't want to care about wide seats, short seats, reclining seats, how much booze they're going to give me, what food I'm getting. When I fly, three things I want to know. Will the plane take off? <laughs> <laughs> when, it, when it's up in the air, will it stay in the air? Yeah. <laughs> and when it comes down, is it coming down where they said it would come down? <laughs> One and all. No valid questions. Valid questions. Get on airplanes. Good. The language. The language of airlines. Planes are never late. Have you noticed that? They're delayed. <laughs> they ain't never late. They just delayed. You get on the when they the take and there's always you see there's always these words that they use. Words are very important. The psychological wording. You get on an airplane. Sitting on the runway, ready to take off. That's when the hostess always tells you about the things that can go wrong with the plane. <laughs> they never tell you that when you're buying the ticket, do they? <laughs> they never say, the wings could fall out, or oxygen will fail. None of that. No. They wait until you're sitting there. Not only are you sitting there, but you're strapped. <laughs> you're strapped into this bloody thing. And then under the guise of talking about the doors, they're giving you a blessing. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. And these words of, uh, if by chance, if by chance, the pressurization of the cabin drops, Oxygen will be provided. <laughs> That's bloody nice of them, isn't it? <laughs> They've got you up to 35,000 feet. Yeah. They're about to asphyxiate you. <laughs> no, we'll give you some oxygen. <laughs> and it's all that. Oxygen will be provided. If an oxygen mask drops down in front of you, please place it over your nose and mouth and breathe. <laughs> For Christ's sake. <laughs> That's the only part of your body you can breathe through. You're not going to stick it on your arse. <laughs> <laughs> and breathe normally. Normally. Can you see yourself 35,000 feet? And these things drop out of the roof. I'll like be scared. Use contraceptive. <laughs> How are you going to go? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. The pressurization of the cabin must have dropped. They're providing us good oxygen. Oh, oh. <laughs> Very interesting, is it? Yes. Crap. Let me tell you, if you're sitting there at 35,000 feet and those things drop down in front of you, the first thing that happens is your anal nerve goes. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Dave. And on a jumbo jet, that is fine. Anal nerves. So the quicker the thing you get that thing over your nose, the better. Hey, he being honest. <laughs> I would be scared, bro. Words like no. emergency landing. Have you come across that? Emergency landing. Emergency landing. It's clever wording. It's an emergency, but it's a landing. They've got you down. We're pros. It's an emergency. We've seen you through. We've got you down. You don't have to worry about things like that. Emergency. Somebody says emergency to me. Crash! Oh. <laughs> hey, that one anybody will be thinking. That's what it is. Crash! <laughs> emergency landing. Hit, thump, wallop, bang, bump into. 
We're about to make an emergency landing on the side of this mountain. <laughs> Lovely things like, make sure your safety belt is fastened. Can you see yourself going through all this? <laughs> the plane is coming in. <laughs> your table is stowed. <laughs> Seat is in an upright position. <laughs> make sure that all the crockery and glass things you give to the hostess. Hostess, excuse me. <laughs> Come into the side of a mountain. Will you take my glass away from it? <laughs> oh. Take your teeth out. They don't say take your false teeth out, they say take your teeth out. They say take your teeth out. People sit there with spoons going. <laughs> place a pillow on your lap and place your head on the lap. You see that? Sitting there, coming into the side of a mountain with your head on your lap. That's so you can kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> he made me not want to get on airplanes now. I don't know if I'm going to get on an airplane now after watching this. I don't know. I don't know. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> what did you do when you hit the mountain? I braced myself. That's what I did. <laughs> Do you know that an airplane, after 18 hours of flying, is just filled with vomit, defecation, and farts? <laughs> that's all it is. It hits the side of a mountain. That's why nobody will go near it for days. Oh, man. If, if in the, un have you heard, if in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, there's a double doubt there, isn't it? If. Unlikely. Put the two. The, if unlikely, put down on water. <coughs> put down. Put down. Leaves put down. <laughs> Thistle down puts down. Feathers put down. Jumbo jets. Have you seen one? It's as big as this theater, for Christ's sake. <laughs> if I took this theater up to 35,000 feet and dropped it, it would not put down. <laughs> it would bury itself in the bloody ground. That's what it do. Oh, I said, forget if that. If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, you will find your life jacket under your seat. And then they show you how to put it on. You place it over your head, you take two ribbons, you circle the body once, tie it in the bow on the left hand side. And they do it. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all, uh, watching this make me show sure enough not want to get on airplanes now. And I ain't ever been on an airplane. And just some of the stuff that Dave Allen is saying, so you know what, man? After hearing this, I'm done. Forget that. <laughs> Unless somebody in the comment section can convince me, hey, dog, it's okay to get on the plane. I'd have been on there plenty of times. I know I'm going to get that, but I, I ain't never been on one, and I, I'm, I'm just a little nervous about getting on an airplane, man. I'd be thinking about all that type of stuff, especially what he's saying. <laughs> can you see yourself coming out of the sky at 900 miles an hour? Oh. <laughs> you put down in the Indian Ocean. You see in the Indian Ocean? It's enormous. It's black and nasty and enormous. It's got waves, huge, gigantic waves following each other all around. Wow. And you look at your safety card and you have landed in the Indian Ocean. Your captain has managed to find a flat piece. Wow. Your plane is flat. All little blue waves all around it, all pretty. <laughs> the yellow slides coming out of the side of the airplane. People going. <laughs> the dinghy with a bell tent. Children say, Mommy, we're going camping in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> You see pictures of the people leaving the airplane. <laughs> the with a briefcase. <laughs> and the hostess is saying, thank you for flying. <laughs> <laughs>
But one thing you never see in all that is little black fins, do you? <laughs> you never look at those pictures and there's little black fins all floating around, do there? If you get on an airplane and you're looking at the safety card and it has black fins on it, I have been there before you. <laughs> That's what I do on airplanes now. I get the safety cards and I draw in little black fins. <laughs> I get a red ink and kind of put little bits of red in it. <laughs> well, you should be an honest. And for your added safety, while you're in the Indian Ocean, they give you a whistle. Wow. In the Indian Ocean? Miles of nothing. Huge waves. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is hilarious. 40,000 feet. <laughs> you dead bastard! <laughs> you know, the one thing I've always, always you hear about, but any sort of mishap with airplanes, the one thing that they always find, they always seem to get back, is the flight recorder, don't they? The black box. They always get the black box back. It's waterproof, bombproof, fireproof. It is totally indestructible. Now, why don't they put wings on it and let us fly? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, bro. Oh, yeah, and that's another one that just popped up. I had, uh, I know somebody was telling me to check out uh, one by him called Supermarket, I think. And I think that's what I just seen pop up. So if y'all want me to do that, let me know down below in the comments section. But like I said, Dave Allen is hilarious. He just said some stuff that, like I said, I was already nervous about getting on airplanes, but he sure enough made it worse for me. Like, man, forget that. I'm not getting on no airplane, bro. I can't do it. <laughs> but like I said, we have made it to the end of the video. I want to thank you all for watching. And like I said, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I catch y'all in the next one.